Hey guys, welcome to a film festival showdown that's happening here tonight. We've got two film festivals running at the same time. We've got Fantastic Planet Film Festival and also A Night of Horror, where this film, one of the major films tonight, will be launching here tonight. And we're very, very excited to see what's in store for the next 11 days, so stay tuned. Welcome Lucas and Jason, thank you so much for joining us here today. Absolutely. Uh, first question, pretty obvious one, is it your first time to Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah Absolutely. It, is. it will not be the last, and I've only been here for 24 hours and I can say that. <laughs> yeah. what, you, what have you liked about Australia so far? Well, I mean, mostly this, and the fact that uh, nobody gets in my face about stopping here, which is a pretty big thing for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah it's the people are awesome, it's a great time. No, yeah, we have, uh, it kind of reminds me of Southern hospitality, so it's, it's kind of the same people, but, you know, I'm uh, on the other side of the world. You know? yeah, it's like all the best parts boiled up of what people think America is, but it actually is. Yeah. Okay, so I understand you're here to also promote your film. Um, can you tell us a bit about the film and um, what you're looking forward about the Australian kind of reaction to this film? Uh, well, hopefully they like it, because that's generally what you want. <laughs> and, um, it's basically just about a bunch of superheroes that wake up in an abandoned town, all their powers are taken away from them by their arch nemesis, and uh, they have to compete throughout the night to try and survive in games. And, uh, it's, you know, Saul meets kick-ass is what the pamphlet says, so here you go. Lucas, you've worked on superhero films before, like X-Men. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, what was it like working on another superhero kind of film? Well, it's funny actually. We we were shooting this. Uh, we had to push a lot of the shooting, a lot of the, my days on superheroes because I had to go screen test for X-Men at a time, and then and then I got done with it. And so we actually did this before I did a uh, superhero movie. So it was. Uh, if you taste the independent movies now they get released. This was shot before X-Men that came out what two years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the timeline you're working with in independent movies. Yeah, it's very Jason, can you tell me about some of the challenges uh, that you face while getting this film up? Uh, to what, to get the movie made? Uh, I mean, right out of the gate, the budget was getting hammered by that. Like, we basically had the money that, uh, you know, most people pay just to drive the actors to set. Yeah. So, well, I mean, that's the biggest challenge, honestly. Everything else is. Would have been easier without that. No, that's, that's what we had fun with. Yes. We had no money. So it was like, you know, I'm an actor, I put on my own makeup, and, you know, the, the, the shadow between underneath the mask, and then we got. Because we had no money, we made a lot of interesting choices, for better or worse, because we're making all of them. So it must be a, a big relief to finally see this film up and people see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we never thought this movie would come out in America for, I mean, Australia? What are we doing here? Who, who's, whose idea was it to send us here? Like, this yeah. is awesome. Like, we never anticipated that. I talked to Jay about it. Like, it was my money. It, we made this movie with my money. I, sh I should have been a little more uh, alert to the things that I was doing. And I, just, I was just like, yeah. he was about to go off to X Men. He's like, money, whatever. <laughs> but seriously, like, I was just like, I at the time, I knew we were making a movie and I knew what we wanted to do with it. I just never, it didn't hit me until we'd actually sold it in America. And now we're in Australia for it. I was like, I don't know what I thought we were going to do with this movie. I thought they were going to just throw it away for a second. Like, we all of a sudden we're getting these calls like, okay, you're doing this Australian press tour, and the movie's coming out in Australia and UK and New Zealand. I'm like, what? Why? Who wants to see this? So I see that you've, you're both taking more of a producing role, obviously, and you have been for a while. Um, does this inspire you to, you know, are you, have you lined up your, your next feature? We definitely want to do other things, but uh, we definitely took a lot away from this in the rules of what not to do. Can you give us an example? Oh god, I mean, I, I don't know how to say something like that and not get in trouble, like, yeah, yeah, legally, yeah, exactly. but, um, god, uh, just get, get more get more money and hire people to help you. That's pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Pay, pay your friends right off the bat, don't ask for favors, <laughs> and, uh, which is fortunate, we got lucky and we can actually repay, we can reward the people who helped us. So don't pay in beers. 
Well, some people like that kind of currency, and that's okay and with us. They did, I said, some of them, but they liked it a little too much sometimes. <laughs> There was one gentleman who we had to just cool down. We had to, we had to cut him off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was, he was taking advantage of the beers for work thing. And he yeah, really, yeah, yeah. he was unusable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so what's next for you guys? Are you more X-Men? Uh, I can't talk about it. Uh, but I wish I could say it was because it was some secret information. I have no idea. I have no idea. That's, that's why. And um, then after that, uh, yeah, we, I've... Uh, I've got I've done enough movies in the last year to be so oversaturated you'll never want to see me in another movie again. So, <laughs> so uh, there's a, but there's a whole lot of things. And, um, but one that's coming up that uh, I don't know if you're a gamer, but uh, okay, do you play Metal Gear Solid? Okay, the David Hayter, the voice of Solid Snake. Uh, that he's gonna hate me in this interview for even saying this, but he's the voice of Solid Snake. He's all he wrote X Men One and Two. He did a movie called Wolves. It was his directorial debut. So we just shot that last year and. I did a movie with an Aussie director, actually, um, uh, Robert Luketic, which is going to be cool with Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman and a lot of stuff. So, anyways. Okay. Um, and how about you, Jason? Uh, I'm, uh, I got Hatchet 3 coming out in June, which I don't know if they even have hatchets down here in Australia, but, you know, I've got that, and I've got a small role in This Is The End, which is the new, like, Seth Rogen-directed movie where it's about the apocalypse and all that. So I'm in that for a second, but I can't talk about how or why. But um, I've got that. We've got a bunch of scripts lying on the table, and we just got to find out if anybody actually likes any of our movies and wants us to make anymore. So that's where we're at now. Thank you so much, guys, for, for coming yeah, tonight. Sure. And all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. It was good. I liked it. It was very funny. Uh, it was really fun. Really exciting. It was actually exciting to watch uh, the movies and maybe the makers of the movie, you know, the writer, the actors, the director, everybody. And they really cool. I love the Q and A, you know, and telling how everything was done and all. I really enjoyed that. So I definitely love the movie. That I really recommend. It was really fun. Awesome. Thank you. My name is Cecil Reed, writer director of the Linda Kennedy. I am one of the leads of the film. Lido Jackson, writer-director. We've been writing together for eight years. And yeah, it's uh, something we use to kind of kick off our professional careers. And our first production is The Taking. Fantastic. Can you tell us, you've only just been in Australia for a day, if I'm correct? It just arrived today? today? Tell us a bit about what you feel of the weather and the country so far. Uh, it's great, you know, great people, fun, a lot of good food, um, wine's great. Everybody is so nice, and the Australian accent is my favorite. So I love all these handsome men walking around with that accent. <laughs> you know, so I am I'm having a great time. The beaches, it's a world-class city. We couldn't have hoped for a better place to have a world career. Um, you were the lead of the, one of the leads of the film. Tell us about your audition experience. Oh, well, that was funny. Um, met these guys in a parking lot. Looked a little bit shady at first. But then their worth ethic really showed me that they're legit, you know? So they're really cool guys. And um, I love them. Yes, hilarious. We were in, I think we were in Caesar's car at the time. It was this old beat up Saturn. Tamir is falling off. And Linda pulls up their BMW. It's not like a real life horror movie or <laughs> Yeah, like Craigslist killer edition, <laughs> you know? <laughs> what was it like on the on set of filming experience? Can I, it was the uh, worst experience of my life, but but, but it was great. <laughs> In another way, um, working with uh, Linda, we had a lot of phenomenal actors, but it was a, a really intense, uh, grueling experience like doing a uh, first film. So it's one of those things that kind of break you, but... Uh, we this is the Australian premiere, if I'm correct. Yeah, well, this is the world premiere for it, um, and uh, yeah, I hope I answered your question. It was a, it was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, literally, yeah. that went in there. Some of my blood too. Yeah. Did you get hurt? Yeah, I got hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so suffering is real suffering. Yeah, no, I actually cried. One day. <laughs> I cried in my car one day. Didn't your car break down? Yes, yeah, so my car broke. Sweats profusely. So join us for The Taking on Saturday night, 9pm, and we have a Q&A with filmmakers and cast from The Taking, the world premiere, and if I'm correct, BAP Artists' first film, and more to come as well. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Aussies.
We love you. So guys, during the next 11 days, I'll be doing a whole bunch of amazing interviews with celebrities, filmmakers, you name it, we're going to be doing it. And also, we're going to be checking out some of the great content that will be over here in the next 11 days, so stay tuned.